The proximal end of the humerus forms the prominent head, the ball of the ball and socket joint found in the shoulder. Distal to this is the anatomical neck, and where the humerus narrows, the surgical neck, so-called because fractures often occur here. Between the anatomical and surgical necks of the humerus are found the greater tubercle of the humerus, which can be seen from both the posterior and anterior views, and the lesser tubercle, which is only visible on the anterior view. Between the two tubercles is the intertubercular sulcus of the humerus. About halfway down the shaft of the humerus is the deltoid tuberosity, where the deltoid muscle attaches. Distally, the humerus widens to form the medial and lateral epicondyles. On the posterior surface, the prominent olecranon fossa is where the olecranon or elbow fits when the forearm is extended. On the distal anterior surface of the humerus is a smaller depression known as the coronoid fossa for the coronoid process of the ulna. The two condyles at the distal end of the humerus articulate with the two bones of the forearm. The medial trochlea articulates with the trochlear notch of the ulna and the lateral capitulum articulates with the head of the radius.